Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another Will to Live Online video. This is going to be on farming money. We're going to be doing this for the lower levels, mid levels and higher levels. There'll be timestamps in the description below. So I can, I'll give, try to give you the most information I can in the description. Like I said, check out them timestamps because then you can skip to the perfect part of the video for yourself. So you ain't got to watch the entire thing. So a couple of things. Um, obviously, if you are a hunter, this is going to be a lot easier for you because of the hunter perk where you can see enemies on the minimap. So that's all I've really got to say on that. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video, guys. I hope it helps. Let's get on with the video. All right, so here's the first location. You can come to this as a level one. As you can see, it's in F2-2. That's where I'm stood. You can come here at level one. I don't recommend it. I've done it before. It. I, I did make money. It was just difficult. But when you hit level 8 and you've got the SKS, it becomes so much easier. So you can compare at 1. So minimum requirements, level 1. <laughs> um, recommend requirements, level 8 and an SKS. If you are lower than level 8, then do not run through this forest because the boars will kill you. You'll struggle to, you know, like fight back if they attack you. So if you are a level 1 player, when you come out of the east gate, just run straight north up to... The mountain here and then just run along the east and that'll be the absolute safest way for anyone to get there but if you level 8 and you've got the sks you shouldn't have any problems getting through this forest all right so i'm already here so let's go and have a look so i'm just going to run up to the top of this hill this is where you're going to want to be this is where the bugs are there's also a loot box where you can get a bit of money out unfortunately i did already record this and uh the footage went a little bit wrong so I have to, i'm gonna have to re-record it but as you can see was one of them's already come back in so, when this was a full box, I got two precious metal, two fur uh, furious metal, and two of this metal here. Um, that works out at 1, 2, 240. You know, it worked out at like 3, 400. It was like 300. You can loot this like every half an hour and it'll be completely full. The bugs, you're going to be wanting to get the sulfur and the radioactive metal. So, you are going to need a gas mask, which is turned on. After you pick the first one up, that's when you want the gas mask on. If you can't afford a gas mask, then get radioactive pills. Um, and whenever you notice your health starts to go down, you know, you just use one of the pills, you can drag them onto your quick bar. I don't recommend using these, especially at low level. I'd say just get a gas mask, but if you can't afford a gas mask, then radioactive pills it is. So I'm going to kill a couple just to show you that they do drop stuff. I actually only killed like about 12 and got... The set of radioactive metal, which is 700, and then the 10 sulfur, which is 150. But I got stupidly lucky with that. Oh, first one, radioactive metal. So there you go, we've just made 200. Um, I think the average is like maybe 1 in 6 kills or something, you'll get the radioactive metal. And they can drop anything between 1 to 4. So, it is very good for a low level. These type of things, like I said at the start of the video, it's all going to be so much easier to do But... Eventually you'll learn the spawns anyway, so you'll know where most of them are. I would say, do you bring some medkits, some of the uh, medium-sized medkits if you're a lower level. If you've got the SKS, you shouldn't have any problems. But yeah, if you are going for the absolute minimum requirements to come up, definitely get some medium medkits. But yeah, that's the bugs anyway. They're super easy, I'm not going to like that. run down there for that one. It's too far away. Um, and it's a good way to just make a little bit of cash at the start of the game. Alright, so here's the next part. This is going to be, I'd say, an absolute minimum of level 8 with the SKS. Recommended would be level 10 with the Fox sniper rifle. And the level 10 assault rifle that you can get from doing the quest. If you don't know how to get that, there'll be a link in the description to my video on how to get the free assault rifle. So level 10 assault rifle is really good, especially for a level 10. But yeah, right here we're going to be fighting lizards. Um, you can do this in two different locations. You can do it here in H2, uh, 7 and 6. Like all around this area here. Should just show you where it is. If you want to get here real quick, when you leave Solar City. From the east side, just run north to this marker here. Like just between, in between uh, D2, 1. And uh, D1, 7. And there's a teleport that will teleport you over to here. And you can just run across. Um, so yeah, I'd say this is the best location for it. Because you've got Kuzmich right here. 
where you can buy medical supplies from. So it's just like backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Uh, the other place I'd recommend is really down south at Karovi Village. And you just come over to here and you get them all around here. But I think these are a little bit higher level as well. So yeah, uh, just showing you real quick. These are lizards, like I said. Minimum level 8 with an SKS. Recommended level 10 with a fox. And an SKS or the level 10 assault rifle if you can get your hands on it. Again, it would be much easier if you're a hunter because you can see stuff on the mini-map. That just makes... Like, hunters are just the best for farming, basically. Um, there's one. Oh, I can't believe it. There we go, we got it. So these do have a spit attack which will poison you. You can dodge these. There's two ways to dodge it. So here we just got 60 from that one. Let me try and find another one so I can show you. They run all around this area. Look, there's one there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot him. And if you look, I'm going to walk right. I'm just going to hold down D. And he missed. But obviously when he gets close, like with the second hit then... I, I'm not going to be able to dodge that because it's just going to hit you too quick. Um, so with that, we've got another 35 and then another 35. So there's another 70. So this is like really good consistent cash. Uh, compared to the first method. Because with the first method, you know, you're only really wanting the, um, the radioactive metal on this. You'll get like a, an okay amount every single time. There should be some down in this river, hopefully. There's someone else here, so it's going to be hard to find them. Is that one? Oh no, that's a bush. I know there's two that can get st stuck in that water sometimes, but can't really see them. Here we go, look. So the second method is, if you shoot him from the side of a tree like this. See, so just put him in the tree, then we step out and we can shoot him. So that's the two ways. I would just keep walking left or right. Here we go, we've got another 35 and another 70 there. So you just want to be like this. So say if you got one running at you, don't aim down sight because you walk slower, so you just do like this. I'll show you one last one. Here we go, look. So, let's get his attention. So I'm going to miss on purpose because I'll kill him easy. But if he gets close, he's going to hit you regardless. But there is a way to dodge one of them. Um, I'm going to take this, another 35. Don't take the spoiled meat, it's really heavy. <laughs> you don't want the spoiled meat. Alright, yeah. so to get to the dead forest, you want to be at Karovi Village, right down south of the map. And then you're going to run southeast down to here, right here, I-13 um, slash 6, right in the corner. And there's the, the entrance is there. Let's go on to the dead forest map. That will bring you in right here. And then the fastest way and easiest way to get up to where everything is, is if you come over to here, A1-5 is exactly where I'm stood here. You'll see these two rocks. So you want to run up. This is how I do it. You don't need to run up the side of this one and then jump over onto the... I think you can get from down here. Yeah, you can just jump up. And then you're going to get to the top bit. See this bit of ledge here. You're going to walk, jump. Walk back up a bit, onto this bit, walk, jump, and then just go down the right side of it. And that's the easiest way to get up the hill, because all of this here is a massive hill. Um, and you have to go all the way around to get in, but you can just climb up at that rock there. Alright, so here, here we are in the dead forest. This place is an absolute gold mine for level 18 plus. You can do this at level 16 with a hunter and a engineer. For a miner and the mercenary, I'd suggest level 18. They're the recommended levels. The minimum level you can come here is it like the absolute minimum is a level 8 with an SKS or the PPSH slash 1. I've been here before with the PPSH. I could do it even though it was very, very, very difficult. But you can do it, but I would highly recommend 16 or 18. So... Just here in B2 slash 8, you're going to have the Elder Bugs. It's the same as the last ones uh, from the first part of the video, except for they're higher level and they drop radioactive metal nearly every single time. And then around here in uh, B296, 
4 and 5, you're going to have all the fire spiders. These are really tanky. When you're lower level, they do a lot of damage. But I'm going to show you ways how to kill them without taking any damage and where all the metals are. So, you can actually run right down into this pit here. And there's a load of radioactive metal you can pick up. It's like 800 straight away. I'll grab some in a minute. Where I've got these... Um, these skulls, I'd highly recommend put, marking these down. These are little fire pits. If you go near them and it explodes and you're next to it, you're dead. There's nothing you can do. You are 100% dead. There's nothing you can do about it. So, we've got a fire spider there, as you can see. I'm just going to pop this guy. Got this bug next to me. So, the way to fight these, I'm going to have to kill one of these and then I can show you how to do them with it. So, they have two attacks. They have the bite and they have their flame attack. So, when this is charging at you, you're going to do a couple of shots and then you're going to run. Now, we're going to listen. That's a flame attack. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't see the anim animation. If you are too close to that, I'll get close to one. Here, look. This is what it'll do. Broken legs, burn effect, and damage. And now he's going to be able to get me one again. And he's just going to keep doing it over and over and over. You do not want to be close to that. As you can see, 2,000 XP from that as well. Um, you can also get the chitin recipes here to make the chitin armor. Yeah, so then flame attacks, if they get you with that and you're a lower level, you, you're dead. Like, make sure you outrun that. Um, if you are a miner or a mercenary, you should be able to tank most of them anyway. But as a hunter and an engineer, you're going to struggle to tank. So now I'm going to teach you how to fight them without taking damage. So what you're going to do, you're going to, you've got to really listen. So I'm going to fight both of them. That's one dead. Right, he's bit, spin, shoot, run. Bit, spin, shoot, run. And rinse and repeat. That's all you got to do. Wait for the bite sound. Spin, shoot. Because when you're sprinting away, as long as you are sprinting, he cannot hit you. So I got one of these worth at 150 for that one. That flame damage has really done some uh, some damage to me. Chitin reinforced armor jacket, that's 700 right there. Fire spider leg, another 35. These aren't really worth picking up, they're kind of heavy. Two more of these, that's another 300. So we got 1k from that kill right there. Uh, we got another one here. They do have a very, very long aggro range. So again, take no damage. We're going to run. Right, keep running if you have the fire sound. Make sure you get some space on him. Spin and shoot. Wait for him to get close. Run. Fire sound again. Wait for the bite. Oh, he's just doing the fire attack over and over. But you get the idea anyway. Oh, he's just doing the fire up. <laughs> well, I've just shown you anyway. Just make sure you keep your distance from them. Make sure you've got some ciders so you can keep putting your stamina up. Make sure you've got med kits so you can keep healing. Um, these are worth a bit, 50 each. It's really, really good money. Now I'm going to show you where to get the radioactive metal. Um, if you're going to be picking up the radioactive metal though, you are going to be wanting rad pills and a, or a gas mask. But the spiders also drop a red type of radioactive metal. Which are worth 200 each, so you're gonna want red pills no matter what. I'm gonna grab them. So we're just gonna run into the center. We're gonna get a lot of spiders on us, because there's not gonna be anyone down here at this time. Oh crap. If you do tank them, like this, they'll never do the flame attack. Just make sure you've got good armor and um, good health. So you need to be a decent level to be able to tank them like this. I'd say for tanking them, you want to be level 20 plus and you want to have the shitting armor before you start tanking. Do not try tanking without the shitting armor at level, like level 20 shitting armor. So there are the fire pits I run about. Don't go near them. That is 100% death right there. You'll always find looting bags from where people have been uh, either dying or where they've been stashing stuff. Look, radioactive metal here. These are what you get from the spiders. They're worth 150 each. I'm going to rob them. A 
Except you have a big after a range. Oh, we've got a couple on his way. Level 8s do a lot of damage. Loot these up, and then I'll show you where the metals are. Just take that, take that. The heads are worth 2,000, but they're really heavy, 13.7 kg. I have pretty good carry weight, so I'm going to take it, because I'm not staying here. If you are staying here, I wouldn't, wouldn't run. But yeah, crazy money down here, guys. Crazy money. Especially for low levels. So as you can see, radioactive metal there. We're just going to run down. You can see them all popping up. So that's... Two there, 200 tokens. Another two, 400 tokens. Another two. And another two. So we've literally just got 800 tokens just for running down here and picking them up. And then we can just run back out. Make sure you have them skulls marked. Because you don't want to run out into one of them by accident. You're going to feel it. It's going to hurt. So yeah, that's the five spiders. How to tank them. And how to do them safely. And... Insane money, insane XP. Absolutely naughty for a level 16 player. Alright guys, so I'm going to call it there because the video is getting way longer than what I wanted it to and there's still a lot to show. So I'm going to have to make a part 2 to it. Maybe even a part 3. Like I didn't realise it was going to take me this so long to explain stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I hope it helped. Um, like I said, I will make a part two and a part three. So I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give the video a like. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you have any suggestions or you just want to say thanks or anything like that, make sure to leave a comment. And also, you can check the description below for links to my Discord, where my community is, for the YouTube channel, and also a link to my Twitch channel, where I stream games every single night. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.